What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. In today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the WWDC, the event that is going to take place tomorrow. So let's get straight into that and see what we can expect from it. You probably remember the WWDC or, or Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference 2017 is going to take place tomorrow, June the 5th, and it's going to, of course, be dope. Now, each and every year Apple is holding this event, and of course, they released the newest version of the iOS. And of course, this year is going to be iOS 11. I'm so pumped up for the iOS 11, you can't believe. Now, I've been asking you on Twitter a couple minutes ago, well, an hour ago, what would you want iOS 11 to feature? And, um, between the options, there has been the support for 32-bit, which is unfortunately most likely not going to come. We're going to get into that in this video. Dark mode, more vulnerabilities, because more vulnerabilities equals jailbreak, and better UI and speed. Now, let me tell you something. Speaking about vulnerabilities and jailbreak, we also need to keep in mind the fact that the vulnerabilities will come. Now, of course, we do not want vulnerabilities because it's going to probably expose our device to different security holes and different, you know, issues, but the vulnerabilities are going to come. iOS 11 is going to change a lot of things. At WWDC, the first beta is going to be up tomorrow, and of course, I'm going to keep you updated and I'm going to make a review of it. But Coming with iOS 11 is going to also come a lot of bugs and a lot of uh, vulnerabilities in the security that of course can be exploited by security teams like Pangu or even other individuals that are in this jailbreak community. Now, as I said, I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens at WWDC, well, anything that is important in the upcoming video. But keep in mind, do not update to iOS 11 beta 1 when it comes out. The reason I'm saying this is because it might be a trap. And um, it has been speculated lately that um, Apple might close the signing window, especially after they drop the iOS 11 beta 1, a couple of hours after that. Now, you, you probably can tell iOS 10.3.1 uh, is still signed. We, sp we spoke about this, um, this thing back in my other videos, so there's no point into taking it into the consideration again. The only important thing that has to be mentioned is that iOS 10.3.1 is the only version you, you are safe on if you're on iOS 10.3.x. Not iOS 10.3, not iOS 10.3.2, uh, not iOS 10.3.3 either. iOS 10.3.1, so if you, if you updated from 10.2.1 or 10.2, stay on 10.3.1, do not update further. But keep in mind that when iOS uh, 11 will drop, you're going to be curious. You're going to want to update to iOS 11 beta 1 because you're curious and you say something like, ah, there is nothing I can lose. I'm already not jailbroken and I'm already on iOS 10.3.1, which doesn't have a public jailbreak yet. So you're going to try iOS 11 and this is where it gets sketchy. Apple might kill the iOS 10.3.1 signing window immediately after iOS, um, iOS 11 beta 1 is out. So you won't be able to go back. And of course, they mitigate the iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak as soon as iOS 11 is out. So keep that in mind. Do not update right away. Wait for us to make the reviews. Wait for us to tell you if it's worth updating to it. And also, Wait for us to tell you whether it's safe uh, from, of course, from the standpoint of iOS 10.3.1 signature window. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because, as I said, the event is coming, it's tomorrow, so it's going to bring dope shit. It's not going to be, a, you know, a normal iOS release, something like iOS 10.3.3, just bug fixes and stuff. iOS 11 will contain a lot of uh, revamps, will contain a lot of new things that have to be reviewed, and, of course, they will be reviewed here on this channel. Unfortunately, for the moment, there is absolutely no word from Pangu. There is absolutely nothing new from them and this is the reason why I didn't make any new update on the Pangu jailbreak for 10.3.1 because there is absolutely nothing new and I don't want to repeat the same old videos over and over again. Yeah, the reason I uh, the reason they are not publishing anything for the moment is probably because either they're they are waiting for of course the best moment to drop their whatever, or if they don't don't want to drop it, they simply don't want to drop it and they don't want to, uh, to address that publicly. Anyways, go ahead here on my Twitter, follow me if you want, and uh, do not forget to also vote in here. As you can see, we have eighteen votes for the moment, 
uh, on what do you want for from iOS 11. Now, speaking about iOS 11 and 32-bit, it's most likely 99% uh, sure. I'm 99% sure, uh, sure that Apple is going to drop the 32-bit devices in iOS 11. Now, if you go ahead and search on the App Store, there is already no more 32-bit applications showing up, which means they have, of course, removed them already. Now, the reason I'm saying that is, uh, is because uh, last year, Apple has removed the iPhone 4S from the update schedule. As you probably know, iPhone 4S did not receive the iOS 10 update, which definitely was bad. So this year is probably going to, to, to be repeated the same situation, iPhone 5 and 5C will most likely be dropped alongside with any other 32-bit devices. So brace yourself. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated on anything iOS 11 drops and peace out.